What up, Posse? Part two. Brandon, uh, hold on a second. Mark, before you do anything, take that back, what we did before. Do not take that compliment back, Take sir. it back. Oh, hey, Brandon, I revoke that compliment. No! <laughs> I revoke you. I revoke you. It was funnier in my head. Yeah, I know. Anyways, <clears throat> we did a little swap. We took and put away what Kyle was going to show us, but instead we're going to show... <laughs> there we go. So well, nine. it goes along with that, so... Uh, we just but we don't know that because you took it away from That's us. That's true. That's true. <laughs> We're going to get it out here. But it's uh, oh, wow. one of 100 Terry Funk. Uh, we showed the Roddy Piper. Here's the Terry Funk. I had to buy these together from a guy, uh, which was fine. But uh, Jeremy Padauer, the uh, you know director, which now he's running Jazzwares, Wicked Cool Toys with the yeah. AEW figures. But uh, I got a handwritten note of certificate of authenticity with all that where I guess he, I reached out to him. I said, hey, I think this is real, but just wanted to check. And he guaranteed it and said it was his high school drama class or something like that is where oh, uh, okay. and he so. auctioned, he gave it to him to donate to auction off. And oh, nice. Stuff like that. So that's cool. Wait, and then it goes with the Terry Funk, one of 100. So Terry Funk and Ultimate Warrior are my two all-time favorite wrestlers. This is the only one of 100 I really, really wanted. Nice. Uh, and Terry Funk, I've met Terry Funk multiple times. I actually worked uh, his table as his handler for a weekend. One really? Time. Oh, yeah. nice. Awesome. Uh, I always hear good things about Terry. Yeah, I do, too. I, I, I had a great, really stand-up guy. great weekend with Terry Funk. And it was cool that, you know, your heroes are cool guys. And yeah. I've loved Terry since I was a little kid. So, And you then, can, obviously, ECW and all that You have the Cactus Jack to go along with it, too, right? Yeah, I so do, you can reenact Kawasaki? Yeah, there right. you go. <laughs> that, was, that, was my, that, that got me yeah. into, like, Japanese wrestling. There you go. <laughs> that was big of the tape trading days, for sure. But yeah, that that's a, a pretty sweet one with the blood yeah, and stuff. You, they don't make stuff like that. Anymore. No, that's awesome. Yeah. You see, you've seen Terry Funk more with blood in his career yeah, than without. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely love uh, this Funker. That's for sure. That is so. cool. What a cool thing that you know. That's you. I know you have that displayed somewhere. Very nice. Yeah, I do, and I got it displayed mm -hmm. with that little plaque right by it. And stuff uh, just kind of goes together. So, and yeah. it's actually one of very few. Uh, a lot of these one of 100s, uh, the, the athlete or the wrestler was there at the show, so mm -hmm. he signed all of them. Oh, okay. This one's not signed, which I actually prefer unsigned. Uh, I don't know. I'm just weird like that, but I like my toys unsigned. There's some people like them signed. I get that. Like, no, I, I like both. Them. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'd rather have one of each, so, some yeah, signed if, and some unsigned. If I'm getting one signed, I'm going to have another one that's not signed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got to sure. go, guys, my clients here. I got to go right. train somebody. All right. But hopefully I'll be back. Run. Yep. I got a uh, Watch after these Sergeant guys, Slaughter Chad on the classic run. signed by him and a picture of him with this Hall of Fame ring. Ooh. Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, he comes around. I saw him at the airport. I, I didn't want to him. bother him, but I was like, oh, his I saw Slaughter. Him. Super nice guy. <laughs> yeah. I saw Sergeant Slaughter two years ago. Obviously, I'm a huge G.I. Joe guy, a yeah. huge wrestling guy. So, man, he just... So I met him with my daughter. It was at the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in Waterloo, Iowa. Everybody should go to that thing in Ju July every year. Yeah. It's a nice. huge deal. But uh, Sergeant Slaughter, I said... Hey, he's thinking I'm going to ask him a wrestling question. What was it yeah. like when you fought Nemesis Enforcer in that Cobra? Oh, uh, geez, that's Joe yeah. He just looked at me and he had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely no idea. Like, so it was pretty this funny. Nerd talking? Yeah, what exactly. What are you saying to me? <laughs> what's a Nemesis Enforcer? <laughs> he's like, what is he talking about? That's yeah. funny. But I, when I went, it was at one of the card and comic shows, and surprisingly, there was like no one. Like in line to get yeah. his autograph, so I got to talk to him for about ten minutes. Yeah. You know, took a couple pictures with him. Yeah, he's a super nice guy. Yeah. He, you know, he's super nice to my kids. He, he cared more about the kids than me. I'm like, hey, I'm the one that nice. knows you. I'm yeah. the fan. Yeah. yeah, but put my uh, daughter in a headlock. And, oh yeah. my god, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so it was funny. But. Nice. All right, so what's next in that All right, never ending box of? Uh... Maybe this will uh, get some uh, discussion going. So I think uh, most of us know what this is. A little Marvel Legends Fin 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 Fang Foom. There we go. Easy. Fin Fang Foom. <laughs> Easy for me to say. So the funny thing, I just actually got this in the mail. I didn't get this nice. back in the day. I didn't. I didn't really like uh, the Marvel Legends at that time. I I kind of picked and choose. Where now I'm more of a completist. But uh, I skipped on this one forever. And I've always wanted this build a figure. But I guess you guys know how expensive yeah. this build a figure is right now. Well, I finally took the plunge, and I bought one of the uh, Chinese KO knockoff ones. Uh, I believe Mark's got some experience with this, so you can and jump they're, in. They're, it's the knockoff for these are almost, it's like literally the best knockoff that's yeah. ever been made. Nice. I mean, I guess the Sentinel, have you seen the Sentinel's seen knockoff? I have in, in hand. So the sen I haven't seen it in hand, and that looks pretty solid, but its arms just move like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
and I've seen a lot of bootleg figures over the years. Oh, Usually yeah. you can tell pretty good. And I haven't had, oh, well, I've touched a, one of these, a, a legit one in my life, but mm-hmm. I don't have one to compare it to. My but, buddy had the real one and a fake one and had them next to each other, and it was really hard to tell yeah. the difference. I and mean, that's, that's how, and that's when they're like, next to each other and for someone like me i'm not like i would never sell this and say hey this is the real deal yeah, or something yeah, yeah. i would say hey this is the knockoff if i was ever gonna sell this but just to have it on display you probably wouldn't sell it probably wouldn't sell it it was yeah. only a little over a hundred dollars where the the legit one's like 400 and 400 something, bucks something now. Times. yeah, well, yeah. The, the knockoff definitely brought down the price yeah. before yeah. the knockoff that was going for 400 easy yeah yeah, yeah. But I'd say it's probably two hundred now. Yeah, fifty. I mean, it's still and it's not easy to get. If you try to build it on its own with buying the figures, I mean, come on. Luckily, so, I have the foam, and then I have a full set mint on box because I am a mint on box and a loose collector. Oh, wow. I didn't. There you go. I didn't start opening my figures until a good friend of mine. I went to his house. He had gotten divorced from his wife, and I saw his whole collection opened. You know, DC yeah. Universe on this side of the room, Marvel on this side of the room. I was like, I gotta start getting some open figures. Mm-hmm. And you could just, at the time, I mean, this is probably eight years ago. I didn't have, I the only open figures I had were ones that I had as a kid. Solomon Grundy build a figure that I bought yeah. for fifty bucks because I couldn't find the yeah. Robin. Man, so fifty I like, bucks, man. Yeah, so I was like, I can't find the Robin. I might as well just get the figure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then uh, a few other random figures I had bought. So then I was getting like. Five ten bucks. My buddy was joking with me. He's like, "Dude, you're literally like stealing these, you yeah. know?" Because like, you're getting, I don't know. I got a Kang for twenty bucks. No oh, man, you know, and it's like Good that's God. a thirty dollar figure. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I totally get the mint on card uh, loose thing. I mean, I would love to be a total mint on card guy. I started mint on card. Mm-hmm. You know, my dad was mint on card. Obviously, I wasn't as a kid. I played yeah, with my toys, yeah. but. I was and that was the '90s. Was everything should be been on card, been mm-hmm, on card, yeah. but eventually you run out of room, especially if you buy the amount of stuff that you know real collectors are out there buying. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. And you can't collect everything yeah. either. You I, know, yeah. it's like if you want to be a mint on card collector, don't do it for every single thing. Like I generally yes. do it for legends. Okay, you know, I'll buy mm-hmm. two sets. Yeah, one to open just for the build a figure. Yeah, one to keep speculation. Yep. Yep. It's, it's hey, people, tough. people like for some reason are shy about that. If you're buying one for speculation, whatever, you know, yeah. boo hoo. You're not, you're not, you're not going well, out and selling it for your hundred bucks when it's still on shelves. You're just no. holding it. We were just talking mm-hmm. before the thing about the Sentinel. We got a week left to back that Sentinel. Oh uh, yeah, Wait, a thousand more dollars. Yeah. And then it gets in what the it three gets heads. The three I heads. Think, yeah, yes. they're gonna it's, make that. I think they will too. At the end, they always hit. Uh, the they make it toy way. store or the world or whatever will buy a bunch of them. The I extra, think. it's just one extra head with like the three faces on it, though, isn't it? I think it's three separate yeah, heads. Three I thought. The picture looked like it was. It looks like it was just one head, and then like the pictures were different angles of that. I think I got saved on my phone. Okay. But I don't know. They, uh, I, I love the idea of getting all the, my, acces- it was a good deal before they yeah. threw in all the accessories. Mm-hmm. I had the old Toy Biz Sentinel back in the day from the 90s toy. I loved it. It was one of my favorite. And this thing just blew me away. And yeah. I, I'm debating with myself, do I need three or do I need five? You always need, you or do know, I need five? <laughs> I, I think you need five. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a lot of money. Look at that head. That's See, the, I yeah. assumed that it would just be one head, but that's like the three different sides of it. Oh, I, actually, you might be right because look on the middle one. See on the where side. it's like the two heads there, and then there would be like the third head. That very well could be right. Nice. Because like I mean, they're, they already gave us the master mold head. <clears throat> yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, all together, there's the head that comes with it, yep, the, master the master mold, mold head, so the and then this head. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know the two figures that uh, they threw in, and then like uh, an extra hand with yeah. coils. The coil. Yep. What are the ha- what are the figures? What are the six inch legends? Oh, it's the uh, what is it? Sentinel Prime, and then what's the female it's a Sentinel? Female Sentinel. Which I don't remember. I, I don't I didn't remember read. any of that. That's more new out of my comic reading day. That's, I think oh, the okay. female one, but okay, it's a heck of a value. And you think of what you could actually sell that stuff for down the line. I mean, it's I like mean, the barge. It's like so the, yeah. the six, spawn stuff. Sixteen thousand yeah. of these things made. Yep. And the thing that's about these, it's a heck of like the barge is great. But yeah. people were buying one barge. Yeah. Sentinel, it's unlimited. People yeah. want an army. Well, you have to buy. Yeah, yeah just do. like uh, Mark it has a huge, what is it, uh, Toy Biz and uh, Build-A-Figure I ones, have right? 14 Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends Sentinels, and then I have... Wow. Like, I only have one Marvel Universe one, but I mean, I have a few mint on card. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
But then, like you said, I even have, like, the original ones, like yeah. the play set, yeah. where, like, the arm and yep. the leg yep. opened up. Yep. And then I have, like, even some tiny ones oh, really? that, like, uh, were squirt guns, like, oh, watermark wow. squirt guns. So, I mean, throughout. Yeah. All that. And then, you know, the, the Sentinel bases that came out. Yeah. So, like, my, I bought, like, some, I forget what brand it was, but it was, like, some dollhouse. So, I have all my X-Men on this dollhouse. Okay. So, like, the X-Men. Surrounded kinda. by Sentinels. And then the pieces are on the ground. And then I have extra, because I... I got like three sentinels that I'm in the middle of building gotcha. on top of the ones that I have. Yeah. yeah. And I just take those parts and lie them on the ground there. because they could just be like yeah. destroyed sentinels. Exactly. You know? See, I'm trying to decide three or five. I mean, I want three for myself, maybe four. And then I said, hey, you buy one. It comes out a year later, Christmas. People that missed out are going to want to buy it. I mean, I hate to take advantage, but it's not. Like you said, it's really not taking advantage because hey, everybody had their chance to get it. Anyone yeah. that's buying people still have their one, chance to get it. Yeah, I would week. recommend buying two. Yeah. you know, And yeah. I feel like most people that got are getting at least yeah. two. I think there's not, a lot. If yep. not five. Yeah. Because I, I bet you I could name like ten people that definitely bought five. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I got a week. I'm waiting just to the very end. Oh, was, four, was it four or five days left? Yeah, I think it's a week from Friday. The 24th, I think, is the last day. Yeah, the 24th, right? whatever day it is. But yeah, it, uh, I just don't want to forget. Like, I, I know, know I'm going to have like a dream. Like, oh, I should have ordered that. I'm going to do it the day before the end is what yeah. I decided. I'm going to do it the Thursday before the, the you end. You know what that means is yours will be shipped first. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I'd love to believe that. It goes Probably backwards. Whoever, yeah. whoever nice. waited to the last, you heard it here first, whoever waited oh, to the it. last minute gets their toys first. I was kind of waiting. To see when it's around sixteen thousand, I want to be the one that said, "Oh, I'm the one that took it I over." Put the it hump. over. It's yeah, all I put it over. Yeah, Thanks, right. guys. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> That's right. Wear black and white That's t-shirts, right. Brandon. That's right. Sorry, obviously I'm not a hero. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, I well, let's see. I, yeah, Mark brought. We all kind of bring stuff. some stuff every. You know, you never know what the episode's gonna hold. So, this is what everybody's like. This is the newest flavor of the day. Oh, yeah. Because they kind of, like, staggered the release of all these. Like, some... Apparently, these were coming out, like, the 26th. People were getting them at the stores in other states. Mm-hmm. Yeah. July 26th. And Very... we ours didn't hit really until the 14th. Some stores were really adamant about not releasing yeah. them. I only saw online in the United States, somebody at New Jersey got them around the 26th. Yeah. I didn't see any others. People were getting them from, like, Singapore and stuff like that, paying a couple hundred dollars for them. And... Like, literally, like, I could take this and sell it today for 200 oh, bucks. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? I got two of them yesterday. It's tough not to, but yeah. I need two, so I'm not giving them up. Got to have one to open and one yeah. to display. And, you know, you know, a month from now, they're going to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and like you said, crazy. most most Target exclusives aren't really well, that Well, look exclusive. what happened with Cosmic Ghost Rider and Squirrel Girl. It's yeah. like, you can still see them. You can still yeah. find them. It's not But it's that, not I mean, I wouldn't even put those on the same level as an exclusiveness as this, but, like, say, like, the... Uh, Pikachu was a Target exclusive. Remember the Funko? The Funko? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Target exclusive. Doctor Doom, white. Doctor oh, Doom. Yeah. As long as it's not like the NECA Turtles. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it'll be that limited and hard yeah. to get. But, but gonna... I mean, some of the Turtle stuff I still see. Yeah. You know, up I, until... I'm going to order that metalhead. <laughs> when the, uh, <laughs> I think we have until tomorrow. When order. the Target down the road here got looted... Cause I was waiting, you know. I, there was like he was waiting that, to get those three Legos. Get yeah, that. Get that. I was waiting to get in there and get my stuff first. No, but I mean, they had, uh, they still had, still had Bebop and Rocksteady, yeah. two packs of them, and everybody else. They were like, oh, you know, it's so hard to find that, but they were still at Target. Some dudes like know. posting it. Like, I was yeah, in yeah. Owatonna Target today. I saw Slash and Leatherhead just chilling on the shelf. Yeah. So I mean it. But yeah, they, they don't last long. But Do you think you it's the hunting. price point maybe that pushes people away? Yeah, Twenty five bucks a figure, so it's like yeah, you know, that's not it's bad. Ex- it's not terrible, but I do think like the Owatonna's the world isn't obviously like a you know Eden Prairie collector or, or, mecca, not a collector mecca. Yeah, and that's where you have your best uh, hunts for me, especially yeah. in towns like that. Yeah. I've had Red Hulk. There was four Red Hulks on the shelf at Owatonna. Yeah, like, before anybody found him in the United States, and I was just, the first one I saw. I was like, like oh, how did this come to Owatonna yeah. first? It's weird how that works. Well, this was the last one I needed of these. Oh, I need to still find this. I uh, but it's it's all it's all over. It's not hard to find. It's just like I gotta. You just gotta go buy it. Marvel Marvel Legends are awesome because you can find those pretty quickly after they come out, and then they go away. But you got a window. You can't really say, "Oh, I couldn't find this." No, and. I mean, like, in here, we have enough help, or, like, if you really yeah. need something, yeah. you're going to be able to find it. 
Yeah, yeah we all got our own. You guys got your crew up here, and obviously you guys helped me out too, and I'll help you guys out. Yeah. But oh, yeah. down in Des Moines, I got my uncle David C. Anderson, a little shout oh, yeah. out. Yeah. Waylon Jennings, a uh, friend of the show. Waylon uh, Jennings. <laughs> Waylon, Waylon Jennings. Jennings. There we go. <laughs> Back from the grave, but he's my turtle expert. He helps me with all the turtles. He's got his fingers on the pulse for but that. But I mean, you pay nice. it forward. Like people we that help, each help other you, out. you help yeah. them. We're on the lookout all the time for each other. So. And now, nice. this is, I didn't really see anyone buying these until I started getting them, but then yeah. people were like, whoa, where did you get those? Trendsetter. But I mean, obviously the older motorcycles had been coming out before. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean, these are perfect for like Cobra Troopers, Hydra wondering. guys, Snake eyes. I mean, it's got a little dust I'm like, on I'm going to buy one for the uh, American Badass tape. I'm wondering. So, like, yeah. I did the Punisher bike that just came out. I actually found that up here. I was up in Minnesota last week and found that. Nice. So yeah, they like, were hitting. Like, people were finding yeah. them at every Target, I feel like, in the Twin Cities. And, I mean, so I, I grabbed these two. There's one more that I really want. It's got, like, bigger saddlebags. Oh, it's yeah. It's kind of more yeah, like that. the cruise bike. So I don't I don't venture over into the Hot Wheels section. Is that where these are? Yeah, over that right area? At the very yeah edge Hot Wheels, Matchbox. That makes but, sense. You know, it's for vehicles for six inch figures yeah. or really don't come around too often. And these, I mean, they're Harley Davidsons. Yeah. You, if you don't like the black, you slap a paint job on it. Boom, you got Captain America's World yeah. War II motorcycle. You know what I mean? Exactly. A lot cheaper than buying and the Marvel Legends. And it's nine ninety nine. So I mean, you could buy a Legend and this, and it's yeah. still cheaper than. How much are these? Well, these are nine ninety nine. Wow. And like sometimes if you go to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, yeah. you can find Maestros for yeah. like seven ninety nine, wow. six ninety nine. Yeah, I mean these look like they scale. I got a bunch well. of crotch rockets, you know, for yeah. like Ninjas. years ago. I, well, I had like the Black Widow riding yeah. them, and yeah. like Jubilee, and like because yep. for the females they really look yeah. great on them. Yeah. yeah. But I don't like a couple of my figures. I feel like they're way too big. To f even like the some of the normal caps just make this bike look. Tiny. Yeah. You that's know. a good you idea. you got to scale it with the right figure. But, um, Cobra Troopers, these would be great. Yeah. Snake Eyes, that's going to look great. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to uh, we're gonna do a little end, the, end this episode with uh, a little tour of uh, Kyle's uh, oh boy. toy room. And it's going to be a kind of a voiceover. I figured why block us with picture in picture. We're going to start. We're going to try and see how this looks, you know. <laughs> but uh, let me see. See, let's see, if I can let's get see what we got here. Never mind, yeah, technical a, difficulties. Oh, what we're I said. not going to do Scratch that, that. No. <laughs> Um But, uh, but yeah, but if if they want to see a walkthrough, well, actually, we'll do that. That's a good way to end it. Which, uh, where can they find you? Yeah, if they uh, if you search Kyle Peterson on YouTube, just my name, Peterson S O N at the end, uh, it'll pop up. I think it it pops up two people, some like adventure guy that camps or something like that, and then uh -huh. you'll see me. So, okay. Uh, you can't miss me, and you'll see all the action figures. But I have my uh, room tour saved as the first thing if you go to that YouTube page. Nice. So. It kind of pinned, pinned to the top. It's pinned right okay. at the top, so you really can't miss it. So, yeah, it's quite the uh, tour. Awesome. It's about 30 minutes, but, I mean, secret I watched, rooms. I, I built a secret a room. I, yeah, I got an crazy. office. Uh, I kind of got to design my own little space, so it was uh, pretty cool. nice. That's for sure. All right. Well, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. We'll I have to have you back again. Yeah, like I said, I'm up here. Gosh, well, pre-COVID, I was up here all the time, but maybe once a month or so. so yeah. Okay, nice. Have to... Feel free to come whenever you're in town, man. Yeah. Feel free to come back. Yeah, recurring guest over here. Yeah, yeah there sure. you go. I could be the Iowa. Well, here's what's going on in yeah. Iowa. Yeah, the like, Iowa guy. <laughs> we're getting, we're branching out with <laughs> the right. national group. There and you go. Bringing in guests from out of state. There you go. I'm all in. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. All right, everybody. See ya.